Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video of our city zoo. And in this building, we are going to finish the twin buildings, which are inspired of Rotterdam Zoo, aka Blijdorp from the Netherlands. And this building is going to be, well, these are two buildings and they're called the twin buildings because we have two similar buildings on both sides, a little bit towards an angle of each other. And they're connected and I keep calling it some kind of monorail because it looks like a little bit of a monorail and in between of that middle section there is going to be the entrance of our african jeep safari we're going to have in our city zoo it's going to be city zoo ish jeep safari of course so nothing similar as inama zoo but we're also not going to start that right away i think i'm going to save that for the end of this series but just so you know what will be there in the later stage so the first building we're going to finish off is the West African Lion Indoor and Outdoor section. And the other building is going to be a restaurant with an indoor and outdoor seating area. You've already probably seen the seating area on the outside, which we did in the previous episode, because in a previous episode, we finished off both of the buildings and basically got their area on the right spot. And well, now it is time to both decorate the areas. So for those that are interested in seeing more of this during like slow mode, I did do a lot of this creation during live streams and I upload my live streams also to YouTube. So I will link that live stream archive in the description down below if you're ever interested in seeing things like a little bit slower, definitely go and check out my live streams or those videos in the archive so you can just skip through them and uh, see what part you want to see. I did not do everything in a live stream. I do have to say I did do a lot also offline when I really wanted to finish this off. I actually already wanted to upload one episode last week or last weekend, but the thing was that I broke my computer, so I lost my computer for a few days. And uh, so yeah, that's why I was like, you know what, I'm now I'm just going to finish the whole building instead and put it all in one episode. So that's why this video is also pretty long actually. But yeah, hopefully you guys will still enjoy. I'm super proud of this whole project and how it looks at the end. It's just really incredible. So I really hope you guys will enjoy as much as I did. Enjoy building this building. So actually, we already had the West African lions in our city zoo and we moved them now to this habitat, but I actually still have not decided what kind of animal we should put in their old habitat. So that is still quite a thing. I saw a lot of people saying maybe the African wild dogs or maybe a cheetah or something like that, but I'm not really sure yet. So I'm just gonna wait and see, like we, we have time to figure it out, I guess, because we're far from finished yet with this zoo, so. I'm going to take my time and maybe who knows, we will get a new DLC at some point this year and we will have the perfect animal for it. I have no idea, but you never know. So yeah, we started off with the indoor section for the lions. Now, actually, I really would love to see more smaller doorways or like gateways where the animals can walk through. Like you see a lot in zoos, it's like super narrow and you don't have to pay attention to like keepers being able to walk through it. But yeah, that's not really the case. So I had to make it pretty wide and open still to have like... The indoor section, you have like those glass pieces where the guests can stand behind of, and you have this more private section behind it. But yeah, as I said, like normally you don't want the guests to see that that obvious, but I just couldn't really hide it away too much, unfortunately. So that was kind of a pity, but at the end of the day, I'm still super happy with how uh, the indoor section turned out. Like we used a lot of the savanna rocks, just a few plans to make a little bit of contrast in there and to give it a little bit more color variation and in the end i just you need to pretend again that that is like actually just painted concrete of course not really rocks but just to get the feeling of a african savanna in the indoor section just a little bit more thematic i guess you can call it and then on the outside we have a pretty open 
lowered section for the Af West African lions. So they have this outdoor section and there is going to be only one viewing platform, which is more raised into the air, giving the guest a more open view towards the lions. Now I did redo that like so often. I don't know why it just didn't really work out as I wanted to. So you might see me a few times deleting it and replacing it so often. <laughs> But yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you just want it to be at the right spot and it just didn't really work out. And yeah, I had to redo it a lot of times to really get it how I wanted it to be and where I wanted it to be. And I think at some point I actually look back at Google Maps again to see how Rotterdam Zoo did it and then redid it again to replace it a little bit more. But at the end of the day, we only have one viewing gallery and like in real life in Rotterdam Zoo, you would have like another little cabin, which is more of a viewing gallery towards the habitat. But I actually didn't make, we might make one later, but I don't really think so. I think I'm quite happy right now with how this one is looking. So I also made sure that the uh, viewing platform has some kind of wooden oh, it's not really a fence is it it's more like a wooden wall or anything behind it at least something that closed it off a little bit more so i really want to make sure that the guest will use the viewing gallery instead of like looking and peeking through all the other sections so i try to really have this of chain link fences but still like create some kind of wooden structure around it and also make it close it off with more ivy and stuff. So I really try to make it look like dense and stuff. So it's not really that attractive for guests to really try to look into the habitat. I actually didn't really have any guests at this point in this section, so I couldn't really try it. But at least that is what why I was approaching for. I remember when I was in Rotterdam Zoo myself the last time, and still when you were on the viewing gallery, you were still just super annoyed, uh, annoyed by the chain link fences, or I, th I don't know if it was like rope or something like that. But I do remember because I really do love to photograph myself that I really had a hard time just getting my pictures, making my pictures through the chain link fences or whatever fence it was. And to create good looking pictures because you also could not be like super close onto the fences if I remember correctly. So yeah, it's definitely not a uh, photographer friendly how it is set up right now in Rotterdam Zoo, unfortunately. I do remember that. So yeah, that is something I obviously had in my mind when I was creating this section still. Uh, but yeah, I'm overall just really happy with how everything has turned out with the viewing platform. And there are actually a few guests there and using the platform. So I I'm, I'm, I wonder if I totally just missed out on that. I guess I did. But it's cool to see that there are guests in this speed build without even noticing. Uh, but the problem with those wooden structures around the chain link fences was obviously that the lions are still able to climb out of the habitat because they're able to climb the wood unfortunately so at the end of the day i had to make sure that i added some kind of electrical fence in the middle of the habitat or like close to the fences we have right now close to the chain link fences to make sure that they were not able to escape out of these habitats still even though they're like those climbing uh frame structure things above the fences but yeah anti-climbing I'm not really sure if there's like a special name for it but yeah it doesn't really work if you use also wood to like decorate the fencing itself so I really had to work with some electrical chain link fences and I did hide them away a lot so you barely see anything of the electric fences so it is in the end, safe for our guests to walk around here without being scared of lions being able to escape from their habitat. And of course, in front of the fences, I use a lot of the shrubs and the bushes, and I also use a lot of the yellow flowers. Uh, I'm, I, I do realize that those yellow flowers are probably not really fitting for this biome either, but I just really do love the contrast of them and like the color variation. So I really like to use a lot of those yellow flowers in this whole twin building region actually. So I use it a lot uh, to get it with a few trees to get some dimension in with the height levels and stuff. 
And yeah, overall, I'm just super happy with how this whole section has turned out. It's super lush and yeah, super dense. And especially when we're going to add like a lot of different trees and bushes around the whole area, I think this is going to blend in just perfectly in the whole environment. So obviously the habitat itself for the lions will have some kind of water section. Why? Because I just hate my water pipes in this game. So I just always want to try to give them a natural source or anything similar like that for them to drink because I, I don't know. It's my love and hate relationship with that water pipe. Well, I just don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> so that's why I always try to avoid using that water pipe. So in the end, I just use a little bit of a water section for the lion so they are able to drink from it. It's not like a deep water section or anything like that. It's really only for the purpose of like drinking from it. And the rest, I really took a lot of inspiration of Rotterdam Zoo, which is obviously a Dutch zoo, a European zoo. So I'm not going for any African trees or anything like that in their habitat. I'm really going for the European trees and yeah, tried to take a lot of inspiration of the real life zoo, which also has like, I'm not really sure if they're oak trees or anything, but it's something similar. So it looks pretty dense still. If you look from above into the habitat, you, you really see that there are like big trees in their habitat. So I really took inspiration from that to decorate the habitat itself for the lions. So yeah, for anyone that is like, but you need to use any African biome trees. Nope, we're not going to do that. That is not realistic, not how you see it in many zoos, definitely European zoos. We are mostly not able to grow any African biome trees and obviously the lions will not really care about what kind of trees they have in their biome. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> so on the other side of this twin building habitat of the lions, we have a restaurant. And as I said, this is going to be an indoor and outdoor seating area. And on the inside, we obviously have several uh, shops for the guests to, to fulfill their needs with food and drinks and stuff. And I tried to use a little bit of inspiration too of the real restaurant they have in Rotterdam Zoo right now. But I really quickly decided to not let myself go too crazy with that. Like obviously for restaurants, you can go really into a lot of details, but I just don't really enjoy building restaurants that much. So I went for a very simple version, to be completely honest. And you just make sure that the restaurant works, I guess. And I think it looks really nice at the end of the day. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it still has that restaurant vibe to it, but not super spectacular or anything like that. And uh, the only thing we're still missing here are, of course, toilets for our guests. So we probably squeeze them in at the side of some kind of building or anything like that. And I also did not put down any facility buildings just yet for our staff. So that is something we still need to, uh, uh, something we still need to squeeze in at some point. Uh, but other than that, the building is finished, the lion's habitat is finished, and the restaurant is finished on the outside and on the inside. So I'm just really, really excited and happy to share this with you guys. And I'm just super curious to hear what you guys think of this whole twin buildings building in our city zoo. I think it's just a really great addition to our zoo. Definitely fits super well in our city zoo. So I'm just super happy that we finally have this building, which I wanted to build for so long in this uh, in for city zoo. So yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below, of course, what you guys think of this build so far. And uh, well, what you guys think of the whole progress of City Zoo, of course, I think uh, we're definitely onto something really cool uh, right now. It's still far from finished yet, but I don't know. It just feels, uh, feels really amazing so far. So yeah, without further talking, please do enjoy the rest of the Speedbuilt video. And I will see you guys at the end of this video to show you guys around.
Welcome back in our series, you guys. I have to keep it a little bit on pause because of FPS, you know, the, the, the drill. Like, uh, yeah, it's a big zoo, so it's, uh, it's lagging a little bit more when we play the game. But as you can see, you see the twin buildings here already in the distance and it looks really cool. I really love the viewing already from here. So let's start by going to the outdoor section for the West African Lion. So really try to divide this viewing gallery with the path right over here. So there will not be any guests like looking into the habitat right over here. They can look into the habitat still on this side, but hopefully they will choose to go up here to look into the habitat. And um, yeah, as I said, like the viewing is not really that spectacular, um, which is actually how I felt it and remember it still from the real life zoo. It was quite hard for me to photograph inside of the habitat because of the chain link fence or a rope fence. I'm, I'm still not really sure what it was, but yeah, so you can get that feeling. You really have to try and go and look through the fencing. And as you can see, you see here the electric fence. I tried to hide away. You barely see it. You barely see it. You see it a little bit more in the distance right over here, but you barely see that there is actually an electric fence making sure that the lions are not able to get out of their habitat. Other than that, it's a very simple, more European habitat for them. It's quite big still, so it's a, yeah, it's definitely enough space for the West African lions here to uh, chill and relax on the outside. So if we go right over here, we have, this is going to be the entrance for the African safari, as I said. So that is going to be pretty cool, actually. I really do love it that we have this special entrance for that ride in a later stage. Uh, so I did put down these guys. I think I saw them because, uh, on a picture of Rotterdam Zoo, because the they have actually Asian lions. So that's why they have these kind of statues, I think. For them, they're smaller and on this little edge right over here, but that's okay. But I just really did enjoy that little reference here because it definitely not is not fitting here because this is the West African lion and the Asian area is like all the way uh, on the other side of our zoo. So yeah, it, it actually doesn't really fit, but I just really wanted to add these guys as a little small reference to the Asian elef uh, elephants, the, <laughs> the Asian lions. They have in Rotterdam Zoo, so that is pretty cool. So we have this seating area on the outside. This is the restaurant, but let's first go to the indoor section right over here. Uh, yeah, I love this. I love this so much. It's so cool. So this is their indoor section. As I said, we try to uh, create a little bit of a savanna theme in here. Nothing spectacular, just more with like painted concrete, we call it, instead of rocks. And uh, yeah, I think it just works really well. Let me just unpause it for just a little bit because we have a cool viewing of our West African lion in here. And it's going to use the entrance to the outdoor section, which is actually really cool. So you have a really up close experience right over here with the West African lion. And uh, well, this is the, uh, oh, there's uh, a tree clipping through. This is their, like, more of a private section. As I said, like, I couldn't really close this door more off. I really would love to, but yeah, obviously you also have to deal with the keepers. So yeah, it is what it is. I really wish this could be a little bit smaller, but we can't, unfortunately. But I think this is just looking really, really cool. The indoor section and the outdoor section I like this. I think that just works super well. Yeah, I'm really happy with this habitat. I think it looks really beautiful. And here you can see that it is a little bit more closed off for the guests to look in the habitat. So yeah, hopefully they are forced to go more either to here or a little bit more up right over here. I think that definitely works. So let's go to the restaurant. So we have the entrance here, as I mentioned, for the uh, African savannah. So that is going through here. I still need to uh, work on the decoration right over here. So we just have some temporarily uh, oak trees here and there, which are there just to uh, give a little bit more ambience. I see they are sticking through here. So yeah, they're definitely not going to stay. So this is our indoor section for the restaurant. Again, a little bit of the reverence of the Asian 
lion right over here. And we have a few picnic benches on the inside. I do really wish we had more picnic benches that really fit an indoor section, like many of them, I feel fit just more on the outside, I guess, but it is what it is. I think these wooden ones fit the best, so that's why I use them in here. And uh, yeah, I tried to make it a little bit more darker, a little bit more luxurious on the inside, but still with like the original elements in, um, yeah, of, of the building itself, of course. But yeah, this is definitely renovated to make it look a little bit more modern and stuff. And of course, we have a lot of different types of shops in here. This is a weird thing, actually. Like, this texture of the cosmic cow sign is completely different from all the others. I don't know why. Maybe because it's coming... No, everything is coming from Planet Coaster. I have no idea. But it just really is uh, odd. But it is what it is. I can't help it. Uh, but yeah, I think this is just going to be cool. So the guests can actually not walk here. So they would actually go around it. But... Because you have like uh, hiding away the curbs, you can tell that this feels like one open space right over here. And obviously you have a lot of bins and stuff in a restaurant to, um, yeah, for all, <laughs> for all their litter. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really, really nice for a simple restaurant on the inside. And if it's like sunny, they can go outside and sit right over here and... Um, I think I think this just looks really really awesome. I'm super happy with the end result So on the inside right over here We're going to have like facility buildings and stuff for the keeper So that is able to use it for the lines in here I think this looks really really nice and especially with like the overview just to give you guys an idea of where this is this is an exact line of this line and then the building and then you have the twin buildings on the end here. And we might squeeze in another thing right over here, which completely, yeah, well, completes this line right over here, which they have in the original zoo in Rotterdam Zoo. So that's why we have these type of buildings all in the same line, all because of Rotterdam Zoo, because I just really love to use that in general. My goodness. We're still so far away, but I think this is looking amazing. So this is the Asian area, the South America Dome, Land of the Cold with the Arctic Pack, Reptile House, the entrance, and a lot of smaller habitats in between, inspired from a lot of different type of animals. And uh, yeah, we're going to have like a small, a little uh, Jeep Safari on the back here. We're still going to fill this up with some more Australian animals because we have some Australian animals right over here and here. And uh, man, there's so much still to do, but oh my, oh my, what am I happy with this addition to our city zoo. I think this is looking just amazing. So yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new addition for city zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already, because we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. When I'm recording this, we only need 80, 80 more subscribers to reach that 100,000 milestone. So yeah, each and every sub, highly appreciated. And thank you all so much for your amazing support. Really, really appreciated. And um, yeah, I just, in general, really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.